Hello friends, welcome to Online Moonim YouTube channel. Uh, in today's video, we are going to see the whole demonstration of the software, how each and every module in the software works. So let's start. So I have opened the login page of the software. So th in this way, you will be provided with the lo unique login ID and password, which you can uh, enter into the software. So I have entered my unique login ID and password that I have set and I'll just click on my login button on my login button so I have entered into the software so now you can see here this is the whole dashboard of the software so this are uh, your whatever the panels you are seeing these are from basic to advanced each and every panel you will get it so firstly what we'll need to do so as you open the software this will be the main home page of the software so from main home page what will be your main work like if you want to directly search add a new customer and make the billing you can do it from your home page itself or similarly if you want to search your older customer let's say my older customer was Aditya so if I search his name automatically in customer list my, that customer gets filtered down so in similar ways you can uh, search your older customers also from your home page so we'll start with the demonstration so at the right side very first panel we'll get is a firm so what will be my first work whatever my firm and shop and what my company regarding details will be there I need to fill up it here so by this my firm get registered into the software so you can fill all the information like firm id registration number shop name form description and all if you wish to enter some bank details that also you can do it from here in similar ways if you want to upload some logos or owner signature here that also you can do it similar in similar ways i have uh, already added a firm here called radha krishna jewels i have entered all the information regarding that I, uh, also have uploaded some logos and owner signature also. so in this way you can enter all your shop regarding details so whatever details you enter it here automatically this details can get uh, shown on your invoice or receipt that whatever it is generated okay so once your firm is created what you will need to do is you will need to select your firm from upper side so once you select your firm so whatever work you will do from uh, further this so what all that for work will be get recorded in this particular firm once your firm is created in the second option will go to a settings this will be your daily use panel settings uh, what will be your work here you can uh, update your daily gold and silver rates here in similar ways if i scroll down on the same page here you can see on which date what rate you have set it this also data gets mentioned so how to set your rate we, uh, let's take an example i'm deleting this rates now whatever metal type you uh, metal types rate you want to set for you can select your metal type it might be gold silver i will give a unique id to it let's say in today's rate i want to set it as 58000 for 10 grams and 400 purity i'm entering it as i enter my 24 carats rate if i click on submit so automatically with my 24 carats i will get my 22 20 18 16 and 14 carats rate automatically calculated if you want to also do manual changes in all the other rates like 22 if you want to set it for 54 that also you can do it easily and so whatever the rate we have set it say at the top of the software your rate get visible immediately so in this way you can set your daily gold and silver rates also so we are starting from the upper side again home after home second main option will be stock so this will be the main stock adding panel whatever opening whatever available stock you need to add into your software you can add it from this stock panel here you get four main options first is fine stock whatever you find jewelry like gold and silver jewelry will be there you can add it into your fine stock similarly next is imitation stock like fixed mrp products or uh, we can say sterling jewelry you can add it into imitation stock next is raw metal stock like if you want to add your raw biscuits raw gold it might be old gold that you can maintain separately into your raw metal stock in similar ways you get a crystal panel also like loose diamonds uh, let's say kundans and all if you want to maintain that you can maintain in crystals okay let's add take an example of fine stock how we can add a fine stock in the software i'm going to fine stock again see here by your build it firm and my metal rate gets automatically fetched first of all the option comes of product code if i click a space bar here already you can see i've already generated some product codes for my product so let's say you are adding chain ring earring whatever product code you want to set uh, set for you can set it by yourself let's say i want to add a earring now so i'll just pick a product code called earring ERG okay next comes the post id this post id gets automatically generated means uh, this states that already 24 products were added of earrings and this is the 25th earring you are going to add into software next brand and seller name counter name if you wish to maintain you can maintain it or it is not compulsory next comes an option of bis like if you click a uh, make a particular product that also you can do it you can directly fetch from your system as well 
or if there is a webcam option is also given that you can also click from from your web webcam if i come down here is a hyd number uh, whatever products hyd number is there you can uh, add it here uh, next i want to add a gross weight directly i can put a gross weight of the product how many grams of product i am adding let's say i am adding 9 grams of product i have entered 9 gram here next is packet weight uh, usually stated in silver like uh, silver usually comes in packets and all if you want to less the packet weight you can mention it here. same ways if you come front side there is a purity option given you can mention a purity of the product here next comes the wastage if your supplier has charged any kind of wastage you can charge your wastage in similar ways if i come front side there is a customer wastage option given this is actually customer wastage is like value added or polishing charge if you want to take from your customer you can add it into your customer wastage similar ways there are options given like labor charges making char charges whatever charges you want to charge you can charge it from here there are also multiple options given in that like as per gram per kg per mg per piece percent and fixed wise you can charge by yourself if i comes a downside there is an option given for stone like if you want to add stone uh, in your product if i click on to my stone option there is a, a different column gets opened down so uh, if the if there is any kind of stone or diamond present in your product that also you can add it from there let's say i am i want to add a diamond from there so i am adding a diamond Uh, you can mention your crystal name also there is an also option given of clarity color uh, certificate number also you can mention it here or else directly i will enter the gross weight how much let's say i am i am adding 2 gram carats of gross weight there are also options given per carat per gram per kg mg you can add it as per yourself and let's say today uh, like uh, the rate of the diamond is my purchase rate is 800 and my sell rate is 1200 per carat and if i take a uh, if i take on this check box automatically two carats weight get less from my gross weight i'll just click on add stock as i click on add stock my stock gets completely added and you immediately will get a barcode for this immediately will get a barcode generated for this i will show you the preview of barcode to see all the tag related settings we go, will go to the upper side tag panel tag panel or tail labels so in this way this is a barcode generated So, but this, uh, this is you can see there are multiple options present on the barcode, and this barcode is also fully customizable. As you want to drag and drop and design your barcode, you can design it by yourself. Uh, once you set it, the barcode, uh, all all the other barcodes will be in the same way. And upper side, there are twelve different options given. Like from this twelve different options, what what features you want to show on your barcode will completely depend upon. So, these are all your tag related settings. so we'll go to the upper side or uh, third option now report so in this report section whatever stock regarding reports you want to check you can come on this report section and check all your reports regarding stock all stock you want to check it together gold separately silver separately above side only will come to know how many total gr uh, grams of products are available in, in your stock list if i go insert this a whole report format will get open in front of you and in on all the options on above all the option there is there is a search box given if you want to search any of the product by any of the option you can search it easily and this report format also if you want to take it out in excel pdf print format above side options are given copy csv excel pdf print if i one click on any of the format in that format your excel will get generated see your excel is generated immediately i will go back again below go all stock there is an option given jewelry panel if i go on to my jewelry panel if i have added images while adding the product you will here you will get a catalog view uh, of each and every product that you have added with images let's say i want to add uh, so go for the more details of this particular product i'll go on more details with images all the details will get shown uh, up uh, showed in front of it and if you want to provide uh, a quotation to any of your particular customer if you come down there is an option given for quotation from here you can directly provide a rough estimate or quotation to your customers also so this was all regarding your stock reports where you can check all your stock regarding reports um, it might be in excel or, uh, or in a catalog format so we'll generate a cell bill now how to generate a cell bill uh, that we'll see uh, so as i said we can uh, generate a directly a new customer cell bill from your home page itself so i'll go back to my home page Uh, so i'll directly add a new customer's name let's say i'm adding a new customer's name 
Uh, if you want to men uh, mention the KYC, uh, like last name, for mobile number and all, you can mention it or directly I will go to uh, sell option. This is an option given for sell. I will directly click on sell. If I click on sell, my customer gets added successfully and here you will get your sell panel open. So simply what you need to do is you need to scan the barcode of the product that you want to sell or else if you uh, click a, enter your product ID that will also work or else if I click a space bar here, whatever products you have added into your stock list gets shown down. So which product you need to sell to that customer, you can pick those product and if I click on enter automatically all the information regarding that product gets uh, added. Okay, in this point also if you wish to maintain, uh, if you wish to change in rate uh, in your labor charges and other charges and all that also you can do it. Or else if I directly click on submit, your payment panel gets opened now. So this is a payment panel now. So your CGST, SGST has been added 1.5, 1.5. So this is the total amount 84,867 that you need to receive from your customer. Okay. Uh, let's say uh, in this amount, I want to make a round of here. Uh, let's say 84,867 is there. I want to make a, rent, a round off of 84,000. I'll directly enter 84,000. So automatically whatever the above amount will be there, get, that will get reverse type. Okay. There are four more term modes given cash, bank, card and online. By whichever mode customer is paying to you, you can put it into that mode. Let's say some amount I am taking by cash, some amount I am taking by online that you can uh, maintain it as per yourself. I am taking 30,000 from him now. Uh, some amount let's say I am uh, taking from bank amount. Okay, when 24,000 is remaining, I want to keep it as a balance amount. Let's say I want to keep it as a I want to keep it as a remaining amount. And I'll just click on submit. So my uh, invoice will get generated immediately. So this is the kind of invoice we will get uh, that you can provide it to your customers. So invoice will be also fully customizable as you want to design, like what, what features you want to show, what, what features you want to hide from your invoice. That will completely depend upon. And whatever balance amount is remaining of this particular customer, if you go on to the customer's home page, immediately the balance amount will get added in, uh, will get shown onto the home page itself. Like if you want to uh, search for each and every detail, CRDR details of each and every customer, above that CRDR panel is given. You, here you can see the CRDR panel. In CRDR panel, here you can see how many active udhars are remaining, means how many active balances are remaining, means how many uh, users balance amounts are remaining that you can see into active udhar. Who all have deposited the money, you can see into the udhar deposit amount. And advance money, if any customers have given you, that you can see into your advance sections. Same way if I come up front side, there is an option given for user list. In user list, each and every customer's list will get it here. Like if you, let's say if you, if I want to uh, WhatsApp any customer regarding any particular thing or any reminder. So there is a third icon given of WhatsApp. If you directly click on WhatsApp, your WhatsApp web, web gets opened. Uh, like if you want to individually send any kind of message to any customer, you can, from here you can directly send it. Next, we'll go from right side again, from where we started, firm settings. In same row, if, we, if I come down side, there's an option given for SMS. In SMS section, like uh, if, you, if I want to send SMS regarding, uh, means offers regarding SMS to all my customers or auto SMS should be sent after a cell so that you can send it from your SMS section. Mm -hmm. After that, the main option comes of day book. So this will be the main uh, day book, like, uh, like this will be your main daily diary, like whatever day wise transactions you have done, you have done sell, you have done purchase, each and every transaction day wise via the report you will get it. And whatever transaction you have done it, like uh, that you have done by cash, bank, card, online, that will get shown in detail here. So what was today's opening, what is today's closing, that will also be shown. So see in the, the same report, if you want to take it by week wise or by month wise, that you can, that also you can take it. See above said options are given, like you can select a start date and end date here and as per that you can take out the reports. So this was all regarding your basic management of the software and uh, which includes tagging also where you can see your day book, you can manage your user list, you can manage Udhar and advance of the customer, you can manage your stock reports and sell purchase. So if the video was understandable, so do hit a like and also subscribe our YouTube channel for more freshly videos. Thank you.